Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I have a bit of a different video, not anything majorly different, um, but I am going to talk you kind of through my thinking when I just recently sold two of my handbags. Now I've never sold any handbags before in my life. Um, I've just never wanted to, never kind of had to and there's not really any other reasons and I just they all kind of mean something to me so I just I didn't want to um, but recently I've had a bit of a situation which I know is a first world problem I've just had so many bags in my collection I mean I have over 30 handbags and they weren't getting used or I just didn't love them as much as I did when I bought them and to me, I've had that feeling it's like I'm breaking up with someone um, it's that I have had that feeling for a while and I couldn't kind of work out what to do with them because they were both bags I loved. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. If you want to hear the reasons and logistics of why I sold two of my luxury handbags, please keep watching. Okay, so the first bag I'm going to talk to you about is my Gucci Dinas bag. I'm going to try somewhere in this screen to insert a picture. If I'm not that you know, good at technology and that doesn't happen, please Google it. Otherwise, I'm sure you'll know what bag I'm talking about. I had the Gucci Dinus in the bloom print with the pink bloom print and wow, it was a beautiful bag. I loved it. Um, when I first got it, I used it maybe four times and then I never used it again. Um, I mean, I think I fell in line with the trend too much then. I just saw it everywhere and I really wanted one and I was going to see Alessandro, the head design, creative designer, director of Gucci do a talk and I was like, oh, I need this Gucci bag to go and watch him do a talk and I got really carried away. And to be honest with you, I think it is a beautiful bag, but it doesn't suit me. Now, maybe I got it in the wrong size, maybe I got it in the wrong print. You know, it's hard to ever know the exact reason I think it doesn't suit your lifestyle because some bags I don't think will suit my lifestyle and they end up really suiting what I really want them for. So now I'm going to kind of quickly, I've never done a video like this so I might ramble and I'm really sorry if I do, but basically the reasons I sold the Gucci Dinus was one, the size wasn't right for me. I had it in the largest size, I think it was medium, but it's the largest size you can get. So it was quite a big bag. Second, it has a quite a heavy chain and it's not like the heaviest chain I have on a bag that I own, but it really digs into your shoulder. So, you know, you have a big bag and you have a chain that digs into your shoulder. So by definition, you don't want to fill it up because then the chain's going to dig in and all that, you know, it just, it wasn't working for me. And I do think maybe if I got the smaller size, it could have worked for me, but I didn't need the smaller size. It wasn't a bag I needed in my collection. Um, I have a quite a collection of smaller bags that I absolutely love. Um, so that's the two main reasons. Third and final reason for me, which was the real clincher, is I couldn't wear it crossbody. So I definitely have in my collection some handbags that I can't wear crossbody and I still love them. But for me, this was an issue. I couldn't wear this bag. It was, you know, if I wore it crossbody, it came up to here. You, I mean, it wasn't, you couldn't do it. It wasn't a, oh, it's a bit short, it's a bit long on me. It's just, it wasn't gonna work. Hardly fit it over my head and shoulders. Um, and for me, those three reasons made me not use the bag. They made me not enjoy it. I mean, I loved looking at it, don't get me wrong. But bags are meant to be used, and I'm really of that mindset. I don't have bags in my collection that I don't use. There is bags that, yes, I don't use as much, and if you follow me on Instagram, I often show you what's in my main closet, and they're the bags I use, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. So I have a bit of my wardrobe where there's maybe four or five bags. I'm having a look over there now. And at the moment, it has my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse, my Gucci Marmont, my two Givenchy Antigonas, and my uh, Chanel small boy bag and my Chanel reissue. Now, I know that sounds like a lot of bags. That's about six bags, I think I said. But they're the ones I always grab for, um, or grab for, turn to, take out of the cupboard. I don't know, but they're the ones I love at the moment. And yes, that does change around depending on the month, the season, what I'm feeling like wearing. It always kind of changes around. But those are just what I have there at the moment. Um, and I do love a crossbody strap, especially 
<sighs> like just for convenience. So with my Givenchy Antigonas, even though it's not a crossbody strap, they are really meant to be more held in the crook of your arm. But they have the strap that you can put over your shoulder. So if you need to be hands free or get something from the car or looking at something in the shops, you can kind of just get it out of your way, which I think... <sighs> anyway, I've started to ramble and you're probably all just wanting me to shut up. But they're the three reasons I sold the Gucci Dynas and... You know, I thought I'd have seller's um, regret or remorse, but it's gone to such a good home. The girl messaged me when she got it saying thank you so much. She'd loved it. She'd been using it nonstop for the few days that she'd had it. Um, and I'm really funny when I send things off. I try and make it feel like it's a brand new bag. Um, you know, it's in perfect condition. And I do all the wrapping of it. I put tissue paper. I put a handwritten note. I just want someone to really feel like that's their new bag. And I think she really felt that way. So I'm super happy it's gone to a home where someone's going to really enjoy it. Um, because it didn't work for me, but that doesn't mean it's not going to work for someone else. And I think that's really important whenever you watch any of these kind of videos that say why I sold this handbag. You've got to remember it's a really personal choice of handbag. What my best friend might like to wear might not necessarily be what I like to wear. and You know, it's just a very personal choice. But I just want to share with you the reasons why I sold these two bags. So the second bag I'm going to talk to you about is the Louis Vuitton Victor bag. Now, I'm going to take a breath because I know I've just talked really fast. Anyway, so the Louis Vuitton Victor bag is a handbag I recently did a review on. Now, I will link that re review down below in the description box. I loved that bag. I have to be honest and say I only used it about four or five times again. Um, but there's a bit of a backstory, and I think this could be the reason I sold it. So about a year ago, I was about to go on my first kind of start of the summer holidays in Europe. And my friend was with me, and I she had the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. And bear in mind, I'd already wanted that bag for, for a year, but hadn't kind of got around to getting it. We go into Louis Vuitton, and I didn't know this, but they were sold out at that point, and even harder to get than they are now. And the lady was like, ah. <laughs> no, no, that's sold out Europe-wide. You're, you're not going to get one of those. Um, not for the moment. They might even be discontinuing it. And I was like, but if it's so popular. Anyway, didn't get it. And I said to her, she wasn't actually particularly nice. Um, and I was, you know, just asking her, do you have anything similar? What's a similar style? And she brought out the Louis, Victor Louis Vuitton Victor bag. Now, you might no notice I'm not showing you these bags because they actually have both gone to their new home. And I... I loved it, but I had two reservations about it. One was it's a very sturdy bag, so it's very structured. You might not be able to tell that from photos, but a lot of people when they see it in store are surprised with how structured it is. The second thing is it has a very prominent yellow gold chain. It's very bling bling bling. And that's not what I wanted that bag for. I already find that when you have a monogram print bag from Louis Vuitton or from any brand, you want the chain or what it's hanging on to be a little bit more understated. So, okay, that leads me on to my first problem with it. I, For what I wanted it for, it was just too bling bling. It had this big yellow gold chain. I mean, of course, I'm telling you this as I'm wearing this bling bling top with all the diamantes on it. Anyway, I'm contradicting myself. I'm not really. But it just, I really wanted it for casual wear. I wasn't getting that Louis Vuitton Victor for um, nighttime. I was getting it for, you know, running to the shops, being on a summer holiday, taking it to a beach club. I really wanted it to be a casual, fun bag. And the gold chain, I just felt like an absolute idiot when I went into places which were really casual and I had this Louis Vuitton with a gold chain. It nearly made me feel like it was fake. Just... Obviously, it's a beautiful bag, and I don't think it looks fake. But in that situation, it felt like, I don't know, I just it just didn't sit with me. I just didn't, like, it didn't suit my style. When I'm actually on holidays, I'm pretty chilled out. I have, I, you know, wear the same thing every day. I just, I just want to relax. Um, yes, I like to drink and lie in the sun and do activities and whatnot. But I don't want to have a blingy bag for my holidays. And, you know, even when I came back and brought it to Australia, it just didn't fit in with my lifestyle. So, I mean, that is the main reason I sold it. That reason and the chain. Second of all, I then got the push at Matisse um, earlier this year, which you all know about, in January. <sighs> that bag was made for me. 
I love it. It's soft, the leather or the canvas is quite movable, fits a load in it. Um, it's got a leather strap instead of a chain strap. It's so easy to wear crossbody. I mean, I'm listing kind of everything that I listed, which I didn't like about the Gucci Dynas, is what I love about the Louis Vuitton. Like, it's crossbody, it's got a light strap, it's very, like, movable. And you know what I thought? I can't have, in my right mind, this Louis Vuitton Victoire bag and my Pochette Matisse. They're the same bag. They're different completely, but they're the same bag. They were the same height, width, same kind of situation, and... It just didn't make sense to have them both in my collection because they were literally the same thing, both monogram. I always went for the Push It Matisse, which I've been using every single day non-stop. Not even kidding, I still am. I mean, I'm looking at it down on the floor it's next to my bed because I keep it there because I don't put it away because I literally am using it every single day. I take it to personal training, I take it out, I take it to the shops, take it to walk Alfie, I just, who is by the way, sitting here, um, and I just have it all the time. So to kind of end that part of story time and why I sold that bag, it just did not fit with me and what I wanted it for. And I think having now said this all out loud, that's what it's, I'm, I know I'm stuttering, I'm just thinking they're the reasons I sold those two bags. They just didn't work for me, my lifestyle, what I wanted them for. And then obviously with the Victor bag, I had something so similar and I didn't need both of those bags in my collection. And I feel really cleansed. I know that sounds so ridiculous, but I wasn't using them and I just wanted them to go to someone who's gonna love them. And the two people that have them, I think really love them. And it feels nearly like it's a weight off my shoulder. And you'll know that I got the Gucci Mamont bag instead um, when I saw both of those bags. Um, I still obviously had you know money left over, but I got the Mamont. And I'm so glad I got that because it was something different, something I didn't have in my collection, size is different to anything else I have in my collection. And I'm loving it. And I've already used it more than four or five times. And I think once you get that bag and you've really been thinking about it, you know. So that's the other thing. I've stopped. I used to impulse buy a lot and I never impulse buy anymore. Um, you know, there is some things, but pretty much I don't impulse shop anymore. And the Gucci... Dinas and the Louis Vuitton Victor bag were both impulse purchases. I mean, I went in that day or the next day after wanting one and got it. And it's interesting how when you don't think about it and don't actually have time to think about the pros, cons, will you use this, do you just, are you just buying it because you want a bag kind of situation, you don't love it. And it's interesting, they're the only two bags in my collection that I've sold ever in my whole life and not, I like, I just feel better for it. I just, they work for me. Whew. I felt really stressed during that video. I don't know why, but I'm glad it's done. Um, I'm sorry for this very chatty video. I know it's probably not a great video for everyone, but later in the week I have, um, I'll be sharing with you my March favorites. So if you liked this video or you know what, it was somewhat helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you've sold a bag or if you've got either of the two bags I've mentioned and why they work for you. Because I don't want anyone to think that those two bags aren't great bags, because they are. Again, as I said, it's just what works for you and your lifestyle. But I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!